Why I didn't sack a mafia Buhari speaks. Welcome to the news and thank you for turning in to listen. Please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post our juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. Former President Muhammad Buhari has said that despite the former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, Godwin Emiefili, being linked to the race for the All Progressive Congress, APC 2022 presidential ticket, he did not ask him. He also said that he could not have removed the Apex Bank chief from office because Emiefili did not tell him about any presidential ambition. This account is contained. This account is contained in a book titled Working with Buhari, Reflections of a Special Advisor, Media and Publicity 2015 to 2023, written by former presidential spokesman Femi Adeshina. In the book officially presented in Abuja on Tuesday, Buhari also defended a Naira redesign policy implemented by Emi Fili, affirming that he helped to produce a cleaner election in 2023. The former president maintained that those who had a problem with the policy were individuals who had too much money. In Chapter 12, Onda Buhari, in his own words, on calls for ING, Emi Fili, Naira redesign, 2023 polls, and others. The former president stated, and I quote, The scarcity of money was not deliberately done to punish Nigerians. Democracy allows people to express their will, and we did not attempt to control them. People understood the implications of their choices, and we did not force them. My state, Castina, showed the beauty of the whole system. In the presidential poll, APC lost, but they came back to win the governorship. Maybe they took things for granted earlier because it was my state, and they thought they would win easily. People do not like being taken for granted. I met a Mifele in office when I came, and unless there was firm evidence against him, it would be unfair and an act of injustice to remove him, acting on hearsay. If you punish a man unjustly, it would dog his footsteps throughout life. So if you would punish, you must have evidence, and you should know that he will not be there forever. You would live one day. I am very conscious about the morale of people who serve with me. I also expect whoever succeeds me to be fair to me. I have family and friends who will feel it. I am very conscious of fairness. When he was linked with the campaign for the 2023 presidency, I did not ask him because he told nobody he was getting involved. Otherwise, I would have removed him and told the nation why. There is no need denying that the Naira redesign policy gave us clean elections. It was people who had too much money that had problems with it. When it was said that the new notes were not available, over 260 millionaire was found with one back chairman. Did I take on the Supreme Court on the issue? No, I could not have. Some APC governors went to court. I refuse to judge people by my own standard. I am not immaterialistic, but it will be too much respect all Nigerians to be the same way. It is not fair to condemn anybody. But it is up to them and their conscience. I want to continue to conduct myself with a clear conscience so that when I go to bed, I sleep off immediately. My, my dear C, concerning this country, there is nothing you will tell Nigerians that they're going to believe. So Nigerians, Buhari did them a lot of wrong. And the thing is, in, the, in leadership, the thing is, you are not going to know what you're going to meet there. Leadership is what I feel is similar to what I call the marriage. You know your partner, your intending partner. No matter how you feel, how you know, you think you know this person, how you feel you know this person. If you marry that person, you know that time you're going to know what you marry. So yes, it is very easy for you to come out and say, ah, this particular thing is like this. When you go, they're going to say different. But still, there is no excuse. Eight years was too long. Eight years was too long. You met somebody there, you should have been very watchful and observant. When you see that this person is not doing well, you leave, the person has to go. When you are a leader, does not rule, you don't rule with your emotions. A leader does not rule with your, you don't rule with, ah, what will people say? You rule with what is right for the country. Even when people are coming out to castigate this for you, you stand on your feet. You stand on that, you rule that, no. Then later, later, when the good is now seen, that and the good is, ah, thank God that you did not even come outside to see because of what we are saying about you that time. 
make you now you know change your mind no no when you were weak anytime you are sick and stayed out of a country Usman just takes better care of a country and sack people he knew were corrupt. On two occasions, you reinstalled the people Usman just sacked. You had no God to sack anyone. Same as you had no God to remove subsidy till you waited to implement it when you leave office. The only person you sacked was a minister who tackled geo charges in Nigeria that geos above 75 years should resign. You sacked him because of fear of Christians and calm. And if not, you would not have sacked him. You do not have actions, no quality of a good leader, but we thought Nigeria would be better if you voted a man for integrity, but we were wrong. Once the usefulness of the president and vice having integrity was all commissioners and ministers are thieves, two against hundreds. I kid you not. This thing this person wrote is very clear. That time, do you know that it, there was a time Buhari left the country? If you see the way we were enjoying, we were, we were so enjoying things, we were going so well. And we heard that they removed some people. Then all of a sudden, well, he came back and he reinstated those people and refused. Anytime he's traveling, he will now refuse to delegate powers to Sibanjo. Leaving the Sibanjo, you know, he can't do anything. He will not be able to take drastic, some drastic decisions. He will not be able to implement them. So, yes, it's the thing of the thing is you don't go with your emotions. They put you in an office there. So far, you guess that is why I keep saying there is nothing merit will not do for you. If you are somebody who was brought into office with merit, you merited a position. You know go look at anybody face if you work. Why? You came in there because it is your work that brought you there and you will want to exceed it. That maybe you got to a level, let's say in your work, you got to a level 20 in your work. That is where they brought you in. You want to get to your level 30 before you leave office. Meaning what? You want to make sure you do everything right. So that next time they can say, okay, this person is really, really what he said he is. If God has not given you the office of the president, we would have ever worship you and see you as God sent. But because God knows you better, he gave you the office so as to prove us wrong. Therefore, don't bother yourself reminding us of the bad, ugly days of your government. It is yes now. If somebody do not, does not become the president, you are not going to understand. You keep saying, ah, just like... You marry your partner, and then you start thinking, maybe you have, start having issues in your marriage. You start talking, ah, well, your ex. You will keep fascinating about your ex for the rest of your life. Why? It would not have been so if you have married her and left the intended spouse you married. Now, so it always be. There is always this, ah, me no can be saying that this person, now I suppose be. I can't do like this. <laughs> but at the end of the day, of course, Buhari is not, nobody is totally bad. Just like nobody is totally good. Buhari had where he's totally, he's good, but the places where he made mistakes, nah, they're too much. And again, I will say this, leadership is like marriage. From outside, you see it and, ah, homo, this person, they okay. This position, they okay. If I go there, let me just to do like this, do like this. But when you enter, you will see that same things are not really as the same. All right, on those notes, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest.